Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. Okay, so awesome news. We will be trying out uh, MaxFon 5 beta today. So really hyped and excited to be showing you all this new web browser. Okay, so if you click on the link um, below in the description, you'll end up on a page that looks like this. Okay, so we're now going to go on to download. And as you can see, it's now downloading in the bottom left hand corner. So if we just scroll through below, we can see um, info box, your information center, a master of collecting seamlessly built in MX5 for you to collect anything on a web page, read, edit and organize what you collect anytime, anywhere on any device, one gig a month, no allowance for zero dollars. No, it's not a typo. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And we've got Passkeeper, your smart password manager. Okay, so generate auto fill and save passwords and private information for you. Okay, so that is brilliant. So you don't need to use a third party bit of software like KeyPass or anything like that. So that's a bonus. Um, you mail. Okay, guardian of your inbox. Unlimited virtual inboxes provide the anonymity you need okay so safeguard your inbox from spam junk and ads okay so that is brilliant as well so the program has now um, downloaded so we're just going to run this setup file now and here we go so we're going to go accept and we're going to go on to advance just to make sure it doesn't select anything we don't want like join UEIP I do not want to join that so I'm going to deselect that okay and I don't want to set this as my default browser um, so yeah we're going to create a desktop shortcut though so we're going to go install now so as you can see it's preparing to launch and here we go Okay, so okay, so this is still installing at the minute, I think. Um, just wait until it gets to the end. Nope. Okay, so okay, so we had to press try it now. So I don't want to type anything in. So I'm going to go guest login, and we're going to log in as a guest. So users can experience MX5 with a guest account, but the data reliability is not the best. We recommend logging in as a guest for a short time only. Okay, the following functions are restricted for guest users. So those features that I did just read, unfortunately, I won't be able to use them because I am going in as a guest. But we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so... We're now on the web browser, so as you can see, we've got little notifications here telling us what is what. Um, don't want to set this as our default web browser in a minute. So up here, as you can see, we've got MaxNote, Passkeeper, and UUMail. Um, let's just go got it for now. So here's all our browser um, bookmark folders. Okay, so obviously we can bookmark our most favorite websites in there. Um, if we go across to Passkeeper, this is where it will store all our passwords and login information for any websites that we want. And then we got UU Mail. Okay, so unfortunately that is unavailable for me as I am logged in as a guest. Um, so up here in the top left, we've got our user. So we can go onto account security. Can't really do too much as I'm in as a guest. We've got our um, okay, so we've got like a debug mode here, um, developer tools, so that's pretty cool. Up here we've got our history download manager, I could click on that, okay, so that opens up a little separate window there. We've got tools, um, okay, so that's developer tools and stuff again, and we can go on to settings. Okay, so here's all the settings for the program. So they they are normally all the same on all web browsers. So not really too much seen here. Um, we've got our add-ons here. Okay, so it has transferred my ad blocker plus across to this web browser. Unless it does come pre-installed, but I wouldn't have thought they would add that in on the 
um, pre-installed, but I could be wrong. Okay, so here we have um, show CPU, RAM, and other computer stack. Oh, that's cool. Let's enable that. Let's see what that does. Um, location status bar. Um, not seeing it up there unless we need to go back. No. Let's go on to YouTube. Okay, I can't see it there. Don't know why. Maybe I need to restart the web browser. Okay, but yeah, so that is MaxFon um, web browser. If you did like this little video showing off uh, MaxFon beta, then hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.